about half a dozen of these full body field duck decoys. Now these are the ones where you put in a dry field where ducks are working or maybe on the edge of a dry field goose spread. Get some PVC pipe. Just you'll have to cut the distance depending on how deep your water is. But this is about half inch. It's got to have a real tough rigid side to support the weight of the decoy. Then push these PVC pieces into the marsh like so. And then take your regular stake into the PVC and then put your field duck decoy over the water, up off the water, where ducks at a distance can see them a lot better. They just stand out. This decoy can be seen from a lot longer distance. The decoys, decoys will just spin and work and it looks like feeding ducks. A lot more realistic. So if you hunt in conditions like this, add some of these field duck decoys to your spread on stakes. These are the two idler pulleys, which we will explain. This is the tow line. Um, it's the line that drives the whole system that the decoys are attached to. It runs from the motor to the two idler pulleys. The motor, it comes with a 30-foot lead attached to run to your pit blinder boat. Um, it will remain completely underwater during use, and it pulls the tow line with the decoys to create the wake. These are the mounting poles. They accommodate the two idler pulleys and the wired motor, and they create the perimeter of the system using the tow line. These are the tethers that are provided. Um, there's six of them to attach directly to, they're tied to the front keel of the decoy. Battery terminals that are supplied, they attach directly to the post on your battery. I'm going to connect the two ends of the tow line to each end of the bridle, which is included in the box. Alright, moving further down the line, simply attach two snap swivels to either side of the bridle. This is the controller, this is the heart of the system. Um, it has two adjustable settings for runtime and speed and from the blind pit or boat and once it's set it provides a totally hands-free operation. What you will need that is not included in the system here is a 12 volt battery and decoys. Jumbo on the left. Kill. Oh, you'll have to make a gumbo out of him. <laughs> Jim, but Jim and me, Chris.
us, that doesn't cut it. Solid urethane foam. The bill on this bird is solid plastic. It's got a recessed plug that goes up into the head. This thing's not going to break. On the bottom, we've drilled an eye screw into the bottom of the solid plastic bill. That won't pull out. We've hunted these birds for days and days on end last season. Never had the first one pull out. That's a really strong bond there. The uh, ballast weight loop on the bottom of the bird is molded into the bird. It's a wireframe that's actually molded into the bird. You're not going to pull that out. <clears throat> the feet for this duck are made of rubber. As you can see, the rubber wobbling in my hand. Okay, this stuff is not going to get brittle in the wintertime like a lot of these plastics will. This stuff is solid rubber. It's not going to break. A lot of you guys have plastic foot decoys. They break in the cold weather. Foot's got a wire coming out of it. You simply stab it into the bottom of the decoy. Once again, it's a good thing about a solid urethane foam decoy. You can stick it wherever you want, you know. So I think this spot right about here is good. I'm going to go ahead and just stab it in there. really doesn't make a difference where you put them, wherever makes you happy. Get your decoys on your bird. Next thing to move to is the ballast weight. Your bird on this ballast weight clip will have a two-way snap swivel. The weight will be separate from the bird, but it will be included with your bird. You simply clip this six-ounce ballast weight onto the bird, and that helps the bird self right Next thing you're going to clip is your jerk line. Your jerk line is about 10 foot of 400 pound monofilament fishing line. This is the fishing line that we use over here in the Carolinas for big game fishing on, in the offshore waters. You take your clip, locate the eye screw on the bottom of the bill and clip that in. Snap it on. Now your decoy, you can just go ahead and drop it in the water. The anchoring system with your decoy is included. This permanent anchor for the decoy is included. What's not included is a carabiner clip. Carabiners are our lifeline when it comes to using decoys. We use them on everything from long line rigs, decoys like these. They, they patch up decoy bags when they get holes in them. We use them for everything. We definitely suggest you buy yourself a large pack of these, of these uh, carabiner clips for your decoys. You, you'll use them up, trust me. It'll be an invaluable asset for you. So take a carabiner. It's not included with a decoy. Get you a carabiner. This helps this monofilament line slide through with no resistance. Okay. If you hook it straight to the airline cable on this anchoring system, eventually it will fray, especially if you're putting any kind of force on it, which you probably will be pulling this decoy. I like to put this in my mouth and hold it with my tooth so that way I don't drop it and I keep both my hands free. Take your stake. Once again, if you need more details on this system, please go to our anchoring system video on YouTube. Take it, hook it to the end of the pole. Keep pressure on it so it holds it on the pole. Got a pretty hard gravel bottom here. Right, we got them in there. We take our pole out. I just jam this in the mud beside me, usually when I'm done. We'll set the anchor. Anchor set. Find our loop in. Run this back to our blind. If it's not long enough, simply tie some non-stretch string onto it to extend all the way back to your blind. And now you're ready to roll. It truly imitates a mallard duck or any other puddler for that manner feeding. Look at how high it throws the spray. That's the advantage of those rubber feet. As you can see, the spray is getting thrown up. I mean, I'm getting hit in the face with it, you know. The ripples from this thing are incredible. You can work it just to, I mean, you can really put some wake out there with it. Or if, if your ducks are a little bit decoy shine, you just need a little bit of, a little bit of natural feeding action. You can work it. You control how it works. No battery powers, no motors to give out. Take a look at some of these other clips of the decoy working. As you can see, best motion decoy on the market, bar none, bar none. Now this decoy is a decoy that no one else has made. Okay, the best thing about this decoy is it's got natural motion. 
got the same ballast system as our uh, regular mallard decoy floater, the serpentor floater. But on this, you got to use eight ounces of weight. Doesn't matter how you get to eight ounces, just as long as you got eight ounces of weight on the bottom of this decoy. You rig it up a little bit different than the uh, feeding mallard in that you clip it to the ballast point. You don't clip it to the forward point, you clip it to the ballast point. Once you got that decoy rigged up, we got the same uh, brick system underneath with the carabiner on it so it slides real free. No amount of water. He's out there. And now y'all got to give this decoy a good tug now. You can't be, can't be light with it. You really got to get him to go onto the water. And there he goes. Now he's bathing. And as y'all can see, we're out here on this small creek. There's no current. There's no wind. The swimming decoy simulates the natural motion of live ducks by zigzagging in random, including moving forward, right, left, and stopping. The decoy is controlled by a circuit which triggers the powerful left and right motors to spin at random. When the left motor is running by itself, the duck will turn right. When the right motor is running, the duck will turn left. And of course, if both motors are running, the duck will go straight. There is no need to spend time operating a remote control since it is fully automatic.